Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about feedback amplifier and I will cover all the topics and numericals related to feedback amplifier course, okay? In my video series, I will make a, play, a playlist for you uh, so that you can access all the videos easily. So let us start discussion on feedback amplifier. So basically, see this figure you all have studied in your BJT and MOSFET uh, amplifier, okay? So here one input XI is there, it may be current or it may be voltage anything. So I have generally denoted um, in miss, uh, for generalized purpose, I have denoted this by XI, okay? And this is gain block, clear? Gain block and suppose the gain value is G, it may be 10, 20, 30, whatever dependent on amplifier and the output is X0, okay, or XO. So the output X out equal to G into XI, okay, this is the simple general expression for amplifier, G is the gain factor, okay, and this block is called or this system is called gain block, okay, this is basically a system where XI is input and X output is the output, so the uh, for this system x output equal to g into xi just simple expression you all know now see what is feedback okay feedback is the process by which a fraction of the output signal either a voltage or a current is used as an input okay so basically see from this diagram here xi input is uh, entering in the gain block g whose gain factor is g and output is x output what we do we take a particular amount of the output and send it in another block h okay and then the output of the h block we we give in the input side clear so this is the feedback feedback means some of the output is taken as input like in general case what is feedback Suppose you are taking a course in a coaching center. Now, after the completion of the course, they will take feedback. That means how much the faculty has taught you with clear concepts. Okay, like that. So, feedback means dependent on the output, we will change the input. Okay, that means suppose you comment that uh, this faculty is not te teaching properly. Then what the institution will do, they will go to the faculty and they will tell him that him or her that you are not teaching properly, the students are not getting clear concepts. So make some uh, more uh, effort in your teaching and so that the that faculty will try to make clear concepts from next classes onwards. So that means what is happening that out outcome of the student learning is taken by the office authority and they are sending it to the faculty corresponding faculty that means input and then the faculty adjusts his teaching in such a way so that the output becomes clear that means the students concept become clear so this is the feedback scheme okay so basically in the same way here what we do we take some part of the output to another block h this is called feedback block okay and we take the output from the feedback block and give it in the input so that output we get the desired output okay suppose uh, the output is very high uh, but uh, we want uh, less amount means uh, we we don't want that that much high amount of output so what we do we will send feedback so that the output decreases and reaches to that value whatever we want okay this is called the feedback and suppose the output is very low then what we do we send the feedback that okay output is very low so what it does the input becomes high uh, as its requirement and balances the output whatever we want okay in this way the feedback works this thing just simple explanation you all know now dependent on it depends on how you in how you give the output of the h block in the input side if you give in the same phase or if you add 
the feedback this is called feedback signal if you add the feedback signal with the input signal then that is called positive feedback but if you subtract that means if you subtract this signal with the input signal then that is called negative feedback clear okay so you can say in such a way if we take the output of the h block and put with the input in the same phase that means uh, 0 degree phase shift or 360 degree phase shift of the feedback signal and after addition what we get we get positive feedback because with 0 degree phase shift or 360 degree phase shift basically add addition of signal is there but if we reverse the uh, feedback signal that means if we take 180 degree phase shift of the signal and then add with the input signal that means subtraction xi minus feedback signal will be will present in this portion okay so dependent on this that whatever we are taking the feedback signal is it entering as such that means is it entering with the input signal with 0 degree or 360 degree phase shift or it is 180 degree phase shifted and then addition with the input signal is done dependent on this feedback is classified into two major parts one is negative feedback another one is positive feedback if we take 180 degree phase shift or if we reverse the signal or if we take the opposite sign of the feedback signal with, uh, with respect to the input and after that we add these two then it is called negative feedback and suppose we take the output as it is and with 0 degree or 360 degree phase shift we add with input then it is called positive feedback clear so basically that's what i have written here if the feedback fraction is opposite in value or phase that is anti-phase that means 180 degree phase shift with the feedback signal with respect to the input signal okay so 180 degree phase to the input signal then the feedback is said to be a negative feedback or degenerative feedback okay see here what we have done we have taken the output of from the h block and we have put one minus sign here and here plus sign is there so basically we are subtracting the feedback signal from the input signal so what signal we we will get here xi minus feedback signal okay suppose i denoted it with feedback signal fs so we are getting xi minus fs in this portion clear now see we will go to mathematical analysis of this negative feedback scheme okay see here input voltage is coming and uh, what this is the gain block okay and we are taking some portion of the output so here x output is there and we pass the output through another feedback block h so the output will be h times x output and what we do we subtract from the input signal so basically let us denote the signal which is passing through this path as e then obviously e will be equal to xi minus hx naught because we are subtracting the feedback signal from input signal so what we are getting now see this is gain block previously when feedback scheme was not there then x output was g times x input but now x output is g times e okay e means this xi minus hx output okay so that's what i have written here x output equal to g times e that is equal to g times xi minus hx naught just i have put the e value here and we get this expression for negative feedback scheme that is x output equal to g into xi minus hx naught or hx output clear now you may think that how to realize this subtraction okay suppose the x is voltage so suppose we want uh, a, a, to make a negative feedback uh, voltage amplifier okay so what we will use in the subtractive circuit so for subtraction of voltage we know we can use differential amplifier differential amplifier will make the difference of the two signal and will generate the output e suppose we want to subtract current so simple uh, current subtraction is easiest okay so how what how can we do we just simple give a node here 
I will show you. Suppose we have put one node, and suppose this is the input current I one. Suppose we take the for this feedback scheme, we are taking the output by output current in this way. Okay. So suppose this is I two, then obviously the E signal will be simply I one minus I two by applying Kirchhoff's law. So basically, we can easily get current subtraction by a simple node, and for voltage subtraction, we can use differential amplifier. In this way, we can subtract the feedback signal from the input signal. Clear? So for negative feedback scheme, we get this expression that is x output equal to g into x i minus h x. Output clear. Now we will apply some simplification steps and we will derive one very important formula. See, we got x output equal to g times x i minus h x naught. So multiply this and you will get x output equal to g x i minus g h x output clear. So take this term in this side in the left hand side and we will get x output. Plus G H X output equal to G X I. Clear? Now take a X output common in the left hand side, and we will get X output into one plus G H equal to G times X I. Okay? Now, so what we can get X output by X I? That is equal to G by one plus G H. Okay? So for negative feedback, X output by X input was G times G sorry G by one plus G H okay so basically see what is happening for negative feedback this is without feedback scheme and here X output by X input is equal to simply G but here when we are applying the negative feedback scheme then we are getting for the whole equivalent circuit the X output by X input that is equivalent gain of the negative feedback scheme is equal to G that is gain factor. By one plus G H. Here H is the transfer function or transfer factor of the feedback block or feedback scheme. Okay, so this is very important formula. You keep it, keep the formula in your mind. I will show you some more concepts and numericals related to this formula in my next video. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.